it going? My name is Jason Phelan. I'm currently a professional BMXer and an aspiring stuntman. Over the years within BMX, I've been doing so many different things. I originally just started filming, making my own videos from a very early age. I've seen so many amazing videos in the past and then uh, eventually got to do an idea like this myself. Jason first approached me probably uh, six or seven months ago. I knew straight away what I kind of wanted. Like I knew I wanted to mix BMX and dive in as a whole into one big video. Just surpassed his wildness on this project. We got speaking, you know, what he did, what we did here, and kicked a few ideas around. And Tom was like, Jason, you can do whatever you want. That's where it started from, you know, that was it. That was the beginning. Actually seeing it coming together was, uh, you know, it was a bit different from seeing it on a sketch, you know, to seeing the reality of it. So it was uh, pretty exciting. Probably our fault for doing a project on the west coast of Scotland, but the weather has been insane. Kent, the engineer, he has helped us quite a bit. Like anything we needed, Kent would be like, yeah, I'll do it. The slate was an old western ferry. It belonged to the local ferry company. This is crazy. She came up for sale about 12 years ago, and she was a perfect diver training vessel for us. I had no idea it was to this scale at all. We just unpacked everything onto the boat, and now we're going to call it a day, and then hopefully start building tomorrow. So day two, we're just loading up this boat and then we're going down to the sleet with about 50 sheets of vapor water. Getting all the materials across is the first challenge, I guess. Um, having to use like a big tugboat to get all the materials across and lift them all onto the, the car ferry. I don't think there's any way that Shearwater haven't helped in this project. My name's Joe and I'm a diver for Shearwater Marine. Since I was a boy I've always been into kind of BMX and then for someone like a pro BMXer to come up and be like, oh, let's use your boat, uh, do you want to be involved? Yes, <laughs> I'll do anything to be involved. When he first mentioned what he wanted to do, you know, I thought, yeah, it's just the kind of thing divers would do. They have a very similar mentality about risk and you know what's exciting and stuff like that so you know I thought the divers and the students would love to take part and see what was going on so to me it was a good fit. Men at work. So good down there. Things are finally starting to take shape. We've been building for a day now, um, and we are kind of stressing a little bit as the weather is pure Scottish weather, so it's been raining a lot. But now, after a day's build, we've got the hip section nearly built, so we might be able to get to ride it soon enough. So yeah, it's looking, looking good. Job done, job done. Okay, mental, didn't have brakes and a wee bike. <laughs>
<laughs> Who rides a bike without brakes? Never mind jumping off fucking boats without brakes. Uh, it's quite mental. Mad. Yeah, some of the setups that we've built have been pretty challenging. Complete trial and error. Oh, oh, oh. Man, I'm gonna go way too fast. Because the run in and the run out were so narrow, it was really difficult to set up the hips in the way that Jason wanted. Fucking hell. <laughs> Originally, we were dropping 12 far. And that was actually too high. It was giving me too much speed. This is my fancy shirt. I bought three of these. On the first setup, we were trying to figure out the hip down with the speed we had. And on one of the drops, I went way too fast and a bit wobbly. And I bailed one way and the bike hit the ramp and bailed the other. Usually when this happens, because we've done projects near the water before, um, the bike will float for a bit and you'll have time to kind of pluck it out. Um, but it just sunk straight to the bottom. I dived in after the bike and tried to rescue it before it sank to the seabed, but I couldn't get it. Oh, fucking sucks. That's it. Ah, fucking well gone. Oh. Jay just dropped his bike in the water by accident during practice shooting. Bit of an ideal, but we'll, we'll deal with it. Luckily, we're on a diving boat, so we can dive down and get it. Oh, we kind of have a bit of an issue. <laughs> well, everything was going good, but then my bike fell in the water. Yeah, um, I dived in after it but couldn't swim deep enough and it just sort of went to the end. So that's, that's where we're at right now. Um, sorry, to be, sorry to give you the bad news. He said to me, look, we can't get out today. We'll send a diver out in the morning to see if he can find the bike. Uh, just drop an anchor down. Which is grand. We dropped an anchor down to where the bike, we thought the bike landed. Yeah, it's here. Yeah. Okay, so you will guess you'll be back in like half an hour or something. <laughs> um, they are going up to Tom's unit to get a massive magnet and we're gonna go fishing for the bike. And that isn't a joke, that's serious. It's a magnet that they <laughs> hilarious. It's a magnet that they use to attach themselves to the side of big ships when they're welding. And if if the magnet gets near the bike, it'll just grab it and we'll, we'll get the bike back. Amazing. We went fishing uh, in the lock, which is 15 metres deep, um, to try and fish out this bike with magnets. I can't decide how heavy it was when I put it in. Despite our efforts, it didn't work too <laughs> good. One, two, three. Back there, one! <laughs> yes! Yes, George! Yeah. DP for life. this morning is head down to the school and speak to Tom about getting a diver into the water to try and find my bike. Um, yeah, as I lost my bike yesterday, so we'll see what happens. I also have to order a new bike off CSG and uh, see if they can send me up a new bike for the shoot. And yeah, it's good. It's the best day so far. I have no bike. It's a nightmare. Rock and roll. Is 
safety park, guys. I had no idea I was going that bike back. Luckily, Shearwater were on it as always. The guys turned up, uh, Tom and Joe. We'll jump in and have a look. Uh, when I, I was told about Jason's bike going in the water, I was like, surely he's got a spare, but no, <laughs> no spare. <laughs> These guys are just going to dive down to 15 metres at the bottom of the lock to try and find the bike. But we'll see if they can see if they can find her. It was a bit of a mad scramble to get all the kit together to jump in and get it that day because uh, there's no filming, obviously, without the bike. So. The seabed is just dead flat and very soft, but the bike's going to be a really, really small trace. I thought it was pretty slim to find the bike, it was. <laughs> I didn't want to be negative at the time because everyone was quite positive, but yeah, I thought we, I thought we weren't going to find it. Looking about, just couldn't see a thing, there was nothing there. You could see everything around there, aluminium boat, bits of metal, no bike. Not a colour of the bike. We'll just stop with no bike. Second dive, five minutes into it, just appeared out of nowhere. It was great. Oh, I knew you'd, I knew they'd find it. It was obvious they were going to find it. They always they'll find it. No bother. I think we're in business. Joe has found the bike. Zero. <laughs> oh, was a mountain bike, right? Yeah. On <laughs> <Well>, suspension. <laughs> like, it was in the water for, I think it was like 12 to 15 hours. We're back in business. We are It was just unreal seeing that. Like I had no idea that somebody would find a bike 15 meters under. My boss Tom, he'd be quite happy that I found it. <laughs> Didn't want to be a disappointment. <laughs> a lot of pressure on both sides. <laughs> The trial and error for the hip section was nuts. It was pretty gnarly. I was landing way too heavy over and over again. That used to be there. Jason was coming in from a bit high and like head banging on the landing. So we cut the railing out of the side of the boat with permission from the owner, because he's grad. Away we went, we chopped out the railing and then we had probably a six foot drop from then on. Maybe pushed it a little bit too hard, tried tricking him before we got him spot on, um, and that's when he hurt himself. Too many times. We just got back to the house, and it's the first time I get to see my beautiful face again. And um, I think my nose is broke. My chin 
probably need a stitch or two, but you know, got enough scars already. But this nose, maybe I need to push it back into place. Right. As you can see, it's fat. Let's give it a little push. That done absolutely nothing. Finally got the first setup done, the hip down, hip up setup, and now we're on the building. Yeah, we finally have our hip up, hip down section complete. We're finally on the timeline. Took a few days, but we got the job done in the end. And now we're on to building the in and out stuff and the rail setups. And then uh, hopefully today we'll get grinding. Just go and you just treat the toe as though it's broken, even if yeah. it's not. Yeah, it does make sense to x-ray to see that. So, we've just pulled up to the hospital, and I mean, I'm going in to get my toe x ray this morning because I fell off yesterday trying to whip down a setup we had set up. And, um, it could be an early end to the project, but let's go in and check it out. I'm a bit disappointed in the whole thing. Um, but let's go in and get an x-ray and see what they say. Okay. So I'll go see Tom, I'll see if we could postpone for a few weeks, yeah, and then come back on board. So that was George. And they're still on the boat, they're just taking some ramps down. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna head up to the diving school and speak to Tom about postponing this project for a few weeks. And then we'll come back on board when my toe is better. Um, and when the weather's a bit better and then film for the next week. So we're back in Yuna now after taking a week off the bike due to a, a bust of foot. Um, we had to postpone the project for a week and now uh, we're heading back to the noon today. We're just packing the vans. Um, yeah, and that's kind of where we're at. The weather, as usual, is not looking too good. But um, let's just pack the vans and get going and hopefully it goes well this week. So Wednesday rain. 
Thursday rain, Friday rain. So for the next 10 days, we have rain. For this idea, we kind of wanted a story to it almost. Um, and I, I think we always wanted some characters in there um, to play kind of roles as I kind of ride around. We have characters there. And George said to me one day, he was like, hey, why don't you just play all the characters? Just getting ready to be the first character. I need to oil up my face. Need to look nice and tough, like I've been working down the engine rooms. I like being an idiot, I like dressing up. I like putting oil on my face. I just, so it was pretty funny. That does look good, actually. Very authentic. Yeah. Let's stack. Welcome to John's uh, special effects makeup salon. Right. What? What? The mega round, that was interesting. They gave us a, a 50 meter long barge to build a mega round setup onto. The day we were filming the mega ramp, the rain was on and off all day. It was ready for 11 o'clock in the morning, and we didn't get to ride until 4 in the afternoon, I don't think. We lost five hours just for the rain. It's just wetting it today, unfortunately. Um, just got set up, biggest set up. Seven ramps in total, and now it is raining very hard. Bit of a nightmare, but everyone pitching in, everyone hands and knees with towels, t-shirts, and everything, just getting the setup dried up. 
Total of three separate incidents of rain today. Only three. Now it's sunny. Third time's a chap. I'm getting texts left, right and centre uh, to see what's going on out there and asking to come out, but like, you can't, you can't know about it. Only I'm allowed to know. <laughs> Jason's shot off, so I've got to test it. No. So the minute it dried up, we got the jumper. We knew it was kind of on, and if we wanted to flip it, we had to kind of do it right now. When you're a young kid, you start thinking all these mad things of how you can do things a certain way, and you, I kind of realised I've lost my imagination. And watching you guys come up with totally random things for a boat, whereas I've just seen it as an old practical work boat. Let's just transform it into something that can be used for a lot of things, you know. I knew instantly I was going too slow, but in my head, I was flipping it no matter what. What a disaster. You okay? Yeah, he's good. He's wet. And I don't know how big the gap was. It might have been about 15 feet, 14 feet. As you can see, here's the takeoff, and as you can see, there's a wall. <laughs> I flipped into the wall and then landed in the water. And we weighed up the situation and we made it a little bit smaller and then ended up nailing the flip afterwards. Backflip across two boats. Who doesn't like that? This is so surreal, everything about this whole scenario. Adding divers to bikes, nuts. And then I got to jump in the tank myself. And then Put get... your neck in and then somebody will zip here. Okay. Zip here. Perfect. So I've got myself my first dry suit to try on. So we're going to put on this. I'm going to put on a diving mask, some gear, jump in the tank. Once I do that, then we'll go out to the boat and do it for real. The best thing about this suit is I can still wear my shirt. It should be fancy underneath. I... I can't breathe. So I just jump in? Yeah. All right. That's insane. I feel absolutely bone dry, right? And I can't sing. There's not a possibility I can sing, right? Oh my god! I can't actually move. Okay, go. What? Oh yeah, I can get it tighter. Yeah. I just want to make sure you're comfortable. Yeah. Dude, okay, if you just want to have a wander around, how's that, okay? Yeah, I can. Okay, we'll leave you for a minute just to wander around then. If, if I can move. I think I got used to it quick enough, I guess. You've got to join these two pieces of tape together. We're just leaving the school now. I'm all trained up, ready to go, ready to go in the bell tomorrow. Um, I fitted an underwater pipe a few minutes ago, so which is pretty weird, pretty interesting. I had to like get in the get in the suit, uh, lower my buoyancy, and then screw a pipe together on the seabed, which is in of a tank, so on the floor of a tank. And then uh, I completed my task, so I'm ready for the bell tomorrow, which I can't wait. <laughs> it's 
It's gonna be exciting stuff. You get under, I twist the air, get out all the air out, yeah. lock it off, yeah. and then... And that's that you should yeah. need to do anything else. I just sit there pretty much. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, let's do it. I'm losing all control, I'm getting... Right, first amateur move. What can you see down there, Jay? Um, I can see a oh man, that's an absolutely amazing looking bike down here. It's <laughs> not real. That is so clear, there's fish everywhere. <laughs> You're not dying. Good, I don't feel like it. I feel quite safe. Are you wanting to go deeper? If you want to go deeper, yeah, that's totally fine. I just need to unblock my ears as well. Send him to the bottom. I want him to hurt him. Where's the treasure? <laughs> Just take him off. There's treasure here somewhere. Such an amazing experience. Uh, when you're in the cage, when you start coming up, you can just see the sun just shining through the top of the sea, top of the water, and that looks unreal. Back flip to rail was insane. Back flip to rail, insane. although it didn't... He didn't... He did pull, pull it. He, he, did, pull, he pulled he it. Pull. He pulled the back flip to rail, it. but we didn't get the slide out of it. I want to see your tyres going right down this tape already. Trying to well, set up a rail between two boats. And the rail started, like, going both of the boats are moving constantly, so we're trying to work out the best kind of position for them to be in so the rail can float about while Jason grinds it. Jason's bomb drop off the top of the boat. I'm nervous, he's nervous, but it's gonna go fine.
Fucking cheated there, <laughs> yet again. Cheated absolute there. And it felt fantastic. Oh. Creating something to this level is insane. It's bringing BMX, I feel, out of its comfort zone completely and it's adding it, it's bringing it into like a new environment for us. Well, apart from the obvious fact that the riding was absolutely insane, just again, Shearwater and Professional Diving Academy have been ridiculous, letting us use literally every tool and accessory they have. The Deep Sea Diving School, the Professional Diving Academy, those guys are absolute lads. It's just been really exciting for me because it's something that I was always into when I was younger and lost. My jaw never actually left the deck, to be quite honest. But I've just enjoyed every single moment. It's been great. You know, sort of bringing the diving and biking together is just it's mad, isn't it? It's quite good. It seemed to gel quite well with, with, with what we do and with, with what you were doing. I wouldn't do it myself, not a million years. Uh, I think it's, it takes a different uh, animal to do what these lads do, definitely. It's all over Snapchat. Hi, uh, everyone's, uh, I've been Snapchatting it to all my friends, so everyone's, like, what were you doing? When it come out in the boats, you know, everyone's coming out and look to see what's going on. It's shown me a world that, you know, I, I, I thought BMX was you know, kids' bikes and shops, but it's absolutely amazing. It's, uh, yeah, it's opened everybody's eyes up here. We've got a real respect for uh, you guys and what you do. Um, so, yeah, just terrific. You know, really enjoyed it.